All right, today's lesson is uh, Grease Pencil, how to add sound and how to add a uh, movie reference in case you need to uh, trace something. All right, so first things first is uh, let's take a look at this storyboard that was uh, enhanced a bit so that there's there'll be more frames for uh, so it can be converted to an animatic. This is one of my students' uh, work, James Franklin. Let me just play it for you. All right, it's 360 frames. It's a commercial about this soda. All right, and it's a full shot. All right, so let's add some sound to this or music. All right, I don't have the uh, actual uh, sound uh, uh, audio file for uh, the one that James used for this one, but we can just use uh, whatever we can. All right. Uh, Let's first add another window to this, all right? So we wanna keep uh, Blender, okay? We wanna keep Blender and we want to uh, make sure that uh, we could see the timeline or basically our dope sheet right here, our horizontal dope sheet and still be able to access uh, sound, all right? So let me right click here. Whenever you see any spot like so, like a line and then you see this uh, icon that you'll be able to drag you can do this horizontally and uh, vertically right if you right click there's that option to split it okay vertical split or a horizontal split okay and then you can even swap the areas if you want to what we want here is to add another timeline okay so if I add a horizontal split okay then move that up I get two of these all right and what we need is to keep the screen up here so we can watch it at this point we're working with sound so a uh, priority on how big the uh, screen will be um, it's going to be up to you uh, it'll be minimized in my opinion because um, at this point you are done at least with your animatic and with your uh, storyboard and you're prioritizing um, most likely uh, your um, dope sheet right here so that you can change your uh, timing a little bit to match with the sound uh, or vice versa okay so uh, first things first let's change this back to uh, our dope sheet okay so now they're the same and then down here we need to change what used to be the dope sheet into our video sequencer right here so right here so this is the um, video editing uh, part of uh, blender okay so if I click that, it changes to this. So it's just a bunch of uh, uh, frames and ticks, all right? So we're going to add right here. Click Add and then Sound. That's all, okay? So I'm going to click Add Sound, and then it will park this, basically. So you can see it's matching, all right? So I'm going to start at frame 1 to 360. So I basically framed my entire timeline here okay and then so when you play this watch the uh, playhead at the bottom all right it's gonna keep going first all right and then basically it shows you almost all the entire sequence so you can zoom out here a bit you can you know whatever it is that you need to do to uh to make sure that you get to see your entire uh, sequence right here. All right, so let's add the sound. I'll park the playhead at the beginning of my animatic right there. I'm gonna add sound, and then it will simply ask me, hey, where's your sound? So here at the downloads, I have the, the Rhino Burt in uh, Ace Ventura. This is one minute long, okay? All right, so there it is. So we'll have another, uh, we'll continue this lesson on how to cut and then kind of visualize and all that stuff. But that's as easy as how to add your sound, okay? So, and you can, uh, and you can, it's on track one right here, and you simply just go to add and then sound, and that's it. 
All right, so now let's take a look how we can expand this and uh, just so that we could see the uh, waveform, right? Very important when you're dealing with audio, you see the waveform so you can time it. So you can you have a visual guide on where things are happening. So there's a little left arrow right here that you need to click that it opens up the, uh, the menu right here, like a little video sequencer uh, sidebar. You can click on display waveform and right there, it just basically um, uh, shows all you all your waveforms, so you can time it. So if that's a significant tick or a click in your uh, or a sound bite uh, or a sound effect in your uh, audio, you can definitely time it so you can match certain things. All right. So you can also bring in multiple of these if it's just like a footstep, knock, all that kind of stuff. All right. So there it is. Uh, you can increase the volume. Okay, you can change the pitch, and then if you uh, if you want to pan it left and right, if you have a stereo, so you can, you know, or you can just force it to just go mono, and then you can do your pan. All right, so there's that. There's also the uh, the timing for it, so you can cut it, you can make it start at a, a certain frame, so on and so forth. Right, so we'll do that uh, after. So that's it. So you just open this up. All right, and uh, you have other stuff here that you can add. There's some uh, modifiers that you can uh, add to, uh, but mostly it's for video, you know. Uh, but this is where all the sidebars will be. So the strip right there and change the volume. Very important display waveform. And that's it. Okay, so, uh, but while we're here, let me also show you where you can get... Um, audio like good music audio right we're not talking sound effects yet just for music all right and they're all going to be royalty free uh free to use especially if you're using youtube all right so the best way really is to get a youtube account okay i do have one we'll go to our um this is my youtube account and if you click here you can go to your youtube studio and it'll jump to this one then you can scroll down all the way down here to the audio library and then there's tons, folks. It's insane, all right? Um, and these are all free to use. Uh, there's duration right here where you can concentrate on length, okay? And, of course, you can uh, string this together and whatnot if you want to. Um, I do have, uh, you know, there's a there's an option here to actually search. I type in jingle right there, hoping I can get a, some sort of like a commercial jingle. And ditch digging is what I ended up uh, kind of because it's just right here because it's not it got a nice uh, bass groove in there. All right, and then all you need to do is download it right here. It goes to your download folder, then you can bring it into Blender. Okay, and there's tons, folks. The uh, bad thing about this, you you're here for a while. Okay, it's uh there's so many things to actually. Uh, to pick and they've been doing this for a while and you can imagine every day there's always submission uh, on uh, the library okay so I'm gonna go here and then we're gonna park our playhead again at the start okay and of course you can park it anywhere and that's where it will position the audio let's say I put it on 50 right there just for the sake of demo I'm gonna click add sound all right and then um, if you don't see you know, I don't know, maybe um, you did something with your filters before, but if you can't see what you're looking for, make sure you click this filter icon right here. Make sure it says sound right there. It'll be the same thing if you want to see movie files. You need to make sure it's checked. Otherwise, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the filter doesn't go to all the uh, entry, like add movies and add sound. So I'm going to click on this digging. Click that. And then as you can see, it's park at the... Uh, at 50 but you can move this it doesn't matter you can go left and right same thing you can click on display mono I mean display waveform sorry we can move this so that it's at the beginning right there and uh, let's play it All right, so there's ways to edit this, but uh, that's for uh, the second lesson uh, that we're going to continue. So this is just to how to add your uh, 
your uh, sound into grease pencil okay or in blender in general so this applies to any blender or animation but we're just kind of demoing grease pencil here and then um, we can also go to YouTube a studio so that you can grab all your music at least uh, sound effects there's other websites that you can go in there you can even go to DaVinci Resolve to have those uh, kind of folly sound and um, sound effects library uh, there's plenty out there that are actually free okay don't use anything that's commercial because um, if you need to monetize whatever it is you're doing then you'll run into that trouble later okay so we're gonna switch to the next lesson on how to kind of cut this up and then um, put it together all right so we'll get into uh, audio cutting and how to edit and how to uh, animate fades and whatnot but before that uh, I want to do another uh, file browser window right here so instead of uh, dragging your um, your finder or your uh, file browser and dragging your clip into uh, the uh, timeline right here or clicking add and adding sound uh, you can also just click and drag uh, methods very similar when you add your texture in 3d so right here I'm gonna do a vertical split okay drag it all the way over there because we don't need a lot of space for the file browser okay and maybe a little bit and then we'll change this one this this is your um, this is your grease pencil camera so we're going to change it to file browser okay and then it's uh you know it's just basically asking where you want your stuff uh coming from okay so for me it's download all right and then uh let me see here uh date modified all right so there it is it's the same kind of uh, rhino and uh you know so i can just drag it okay and wherever you're play headed it dumps it in there and then if I do another one right here, okay, oops, that's not good. All right, add the sound, there you go. So it just keeps going up on the layer, okay? And you can, of course, move things around right here, so on and so forth, oh, undo that, there we go, okay? And you can just clean up by, you know, hitting delete and whatnot. So. Here, uh, that's just to kind of show you how to get this one. So it makes it easier if you have tons and tons of uh, of um, of uh, files that you want to bring in a sound, all right? So what I'll do here is click this and then kind of right uh, left-click drag here until you see that semi-translucent uh, arrow. Simply take over and then that's how you get rid of the window, okay? You don't need to, it's just that easier for me to demo with this thing uh, big, okay? So what I'll do here is simply delete this. Okay, all those things I added, and then let's go back here onto uh, how we can uh, manipulate. Um, I'm going to move this up a little bit, like so. Okay, and um, go back here. All right, so like our stroke right there, make sure we're on that one, you know, just so that uh, we'll see all our storyboard right here. And then, um, okay, so how do we uh, edit here? Um, you can simply click it and then you can just move it around to change your timing right so we've done that before okay then you can right click to cancel your command all right so how do we cut it so let's say we only want the the length of the song to just kind of end where the length of our animation is so if you select uh, we're going to do this one clip at a time and you can do it on both okay so the blade tool uh, is kind of like industry name for um, cutting in video edit but in blender we call it uh, we go to strip right here we call it the split makes sense though it splits it but in um, you know video editing terms basically the blade okay keyboard short is k all right so if i park this all the way to the end like so okay and i select this one it's highlighted the top one right the uh, ditch digging and i press k it cuts it right there so i can then Select that and then just press delete. Get it, uh, get it away. All right. Same thing here. Again, park your playhead where you want that cut to be. Press K, and that one's done. All right. So let's say we want to isolate just a certain part of the audio, like here, this waveform right here. And you can zoom in and out of here, of course. Okay. So I can park the playhead right there. Press K. Oops. Select the uh, clip. Press K. Move this one right here. Press K again. There we go so now this one is by itself okay since this is a 
split, not a hold split. Um, this thing still has all the other uh, audio tracks. So it just kind of bladed it, you know. So you just made, what you did is uh, by doing that, what happened is that that's if you brought in the same audio file and just simply trim it. That's all there is. It's just a quicker way. All right. So it's like timeline editing because we don't have the. Uh, I mean, we can browse edit right here, but we have to go to our um, official video editing. Okay right here where everything will change to that uh, portion right there okay so now that we have that okay I can just kind of oops sorry select that right there and I can just move it like so and the way you duplicate in blender is you can do shift D and you can get another one so that's multiple footsteps okay and um, There it is. Okay, so that portion is just kind of repeated over and over. Shift D to duplicate, of course. Let's take a look at the other tools. Okay, uh, copy and paste is the same. Duplicates what I just did. Delete and then kind of important right here. Lock and unlock. So let's say this one uh, you don't want to accidentally cut or move. You want to lock it. Okay, so strip, lock, lock strip. You don't have access to it. You can't do anything to it. It's just simply lock, which is great. Uh, especially uh, for our project that you are trying to uh, animate over an existing uh, soundbite uh, from a movie okay and you don't want as long as you got that starting where you need it to start okay let's say your audio is um, super long right and you just want certain parts right there and then all you have to do is what I just did right here select it press K uh, to where you want to to start and where you want to end it and then simply drag and position uh, make it go to the very beginning of your timeline. So always look at your, if you're confused over what the heck all these things are, uh, work on your Adobe sheet right here, and then you can position that. It'll be on frame one. Okay, and then there we go. And then position that at the very beginning. Let's say you cut that. Okay, and then let's say it needs to end all the way to the end. Uh, you can just simply select it, and then uh, you can... Uh, there you go, drag it all the way or uh, minimize it. Okay, so that's how you lock, how you cut, uh, or how you blade. Okay, so now how do we fade the audio? So it's, uh, in Blender, um, let's say here. Uh, okay, uh, well, let's see. Uh, let's get this thing uh, done first so we can, even though you can't cut it, the uh, the uh, audio here you can still kind of mute it so I'm just gonna lower the volume on it so we don't hear it at all so we can just concentrate on fading this right so I open up again the strip right there and then uh, we can go right here so let's say we want to start fading it here okay all right so right here uh, you can start um, giving it a, a keyframe so the same thing keyframing in 3d uh, all we do is here in volume you right click it then you have your insert keyframe okay so we said okay stay at 100 uh sorry not 100 1.0 volume right here okay and then if i move this all the way to the end i'm simply going to tell it hey now uh be zero okay so right here you can click that which is your um diamond right but let's be consistent what we've been doing just click on right click it and then insert keyframe you see kind of like this slope right here so it's fading it okay so all right there we go so you can do that at the beginning you can do that at the end all right so that's how you do uh audio uh how to add audio and then do audio trim in blender okay